It's winter. Again. If we said that every year, we'd soon be seen as fools. Of course winter is going to happen again. This is no surprise, and neither should this current market downturn. However, I know it can be hard to keep investing in this type of market out there when you're just not sure what's gonna happen and the real estate out there is changing so dynamically. I'm gonna talk about in this video three different strategies that will help you keep investing no matter the market cycle. We're talking about how you can gain the confidence to keep your progression towards your big goals of financial independence. I'm Susan Elliott with Good Egg Investments and in this channel, I like to talk about the best ways that you can invest passively in real estate without ever having to sacrifice your time as a landlord. We also talk about how to live your life by design now, today, and not just in some future retirement scenario. If that's something you like, please subscribe to this channel and like this video, and let's jump in. Okay, remember that it's hard to see cycles as cycles when we look at them too closely. We wanna zoom out and remember that we're in a cycle here and that we're gonna get out of that cycle. If we only saw the winter, we would never see all of the seasons. And quite frankly, spring and fall are my personal favorite. Maybe the adjustment to winter is hard, right? That first snowfall can be pretty shocking. The first sub-zero temperatures, or maybe you live on the beach and this never happens to you. The shock of being in a market downturn might take you back. It might cause you to pause and think, whoa, maybe I should hold off on investing until at some future scenario where I have more confidence. This is strategy number one, and that is get in the mindset of not waiting for some future scenario where you you will be more confident, right? Learn how to be confident investing in this market cycle because you're a savvy investor. You know you have to keep it going, right? If you stop investing because you're scared, you're gonna miss out on a lot and you're gonna miss out on the growth of what would have happened had you kept investing. So in order to do that, look into some of the experts, see what people are saying, especially the people who have lived through and invested in multiple market cycles. Maybe they didn't even, maybe they lost some stuff, especially in 2009. There's a lot of real estate investors who learned some hard lessons that year, right? But they've come back on their feet and they're learning from it. For instance, if you look at the Fannie Mae's November 2023 market predictions, they are showing that there probably is going to be a mild recession through 2024, but that it's going to rebound in 2025. Another great reflection of this is our friend Ken McElroy, who talks about the decrease in construction starts that are happening right now for like new multifamily projects. So we're going to see a lot of projects come online that are being constructed right now, but then we're going to see a decrease in supply because no one's starting new construction now. With that decrease in supply is going to come an increase in rent. Okay, let's think about an example of that that's a little more relatable. Say your favorite bakery, um, shout out to the White Salmon Bakery here in my town and their cardamom buns. Oh my goodness, so good. Okay, so your favorite bakery is seeing that prices are skyrocketing on their ingredient list, right? And so they're having to force sleep to close down one oven. They can't bake most of their bread anymore. They're only to do half as much. Their shelves are still filling with bread, but less bread, right? As soon as the community starts to realize that the bread is going off the shelves a lot quicker, they're gonna come in. It becomes a hot commodity at that point and they're buying it up, especially those bags of English muffins on the top shelf. Ooh, those are good. So as it becomes a hot commodity, as the demand increase, the bakery realizes that it can charge more for each one of those loaves. They begin to raise the prices. This is that same type of supply and demand response. Rents are gonna go up if there's less buildings that people can choose from. Okay, maybe you're not an economist, I'm certainly not, but I like to listen to what I can and digest what I can because it does keep my confidence up to be able to continue to invest in this market cycle. Okay, my second tip for investing in a downturn is to find the cash flow. Right. If you're getting cash flow now, even during a market downturn, you're reducing your risk a lot because you're seeing your returns immediately. You're not investing for some future scenario, right? So this is going to give you confidence as you go. And even if you're not being distributed that cash flow, dig into the, the deal that you're looking at. And maybe that's going into reserves for the time being, but that the, the property behind it is still really healthy. I'll give you an example of a great cash flowing type of investment, and that's preferred equity right now. This is structured to have fixed monthly income amounts coming to investors along with an upside payment that is independent of the market cycles. I just did a great video on this that I'll link to as well if you want to know a little bit more about preferred equity investing. Again, all of the experts point to having hard assets during inflationary times. Real estate isn't going anywhere. It is a long game though, and having cash flow in your bank account is gonna give you more confidence to keep investing. Okay, third strategy is to focus on the operations of the deals you're investing in. 
Ask your sponsor questions on how they're maintaining the assets. Ask your sponsor if they have asset management in-house, right? Someone who has done this for decades and is on the team, on the boots, on the ground, maintaining the quality of these properties, right? We want to wait until the market's great to sell. And it, maybe it's not great right now to sell these assets. That's fine. We can hold, again, real estate's a long game, but we want strong, quality performing assets along the way. And this is all about how your operations team is managing those assets. You do not want these going into distress, right? Okay, I'm going to leave you with a quote from Christina Sutler, an expert investor who was on an economics panel that I just listened to. She talked about market cycles as waves, waves on an ocean beach. Mm, I love that idea. <laughs> Waves are not personal. They're not your fault. You can't control them, right? But you can be a positive reaction to them. You can get your surfboard and you can go surfing on that wave. Or maybe you can just jump in it blissfully like you would as a little kid, right? But the, the point here is that this is happens and these come and go and we can expect that market cycles also will come and go just like those ocean waves. You really want to avoid being emotional about it. And I like that Christina came home with that point. If we let our emotions keep us from continuing to invest, we're really harming our future selves and the potential we have to do, to be who we want to be now and in the future. All right, please remember that there is going to be a window opening up. We are in a market downturn and that's okay. You can keep investing. I'm here. If you want more information, you can always join our Good Egg Investor Club. We jump on calls with you. You have weekly opportunities to chat with all of our team. It's a great way to get to know, to learn about passive real estate investing. The first step is learning, educating yourself, and we'd love to help you with that. I'll put the link in the descriptions below and hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.